Good morning, good morning, South Florida. Hello, world. This is Robert Henderson, Jr., certified financial planner, certified tax coach, live in the beautiful studios of WNME, the man. Yes, the mm-hmm. man. I have my co-host, sister-in-law, business partner, Linda V. Harris, the woman. How you doing, Linda? I'm great. I'm great. I, I'm going to get you eventually to just say 12, 10 a.m. That's it. We, we don't have to say the rest, but I'm doing well, Robert, as you can see. And as our viewers will see on our YouTube uh, channel that I'm all dolled up today because I'm very proud to say that I, among two other two or three other young ladies, will be receiving um, a service award from our very own Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz for my contribution to the community, specifically the female community. And I'm very proud of that. Are you proud of me, Robert? Yes, uh, half proud of you, <laughs> half not, because you know oh my when, when you say the community, unless there is a community of only females, then I would say I, I concur. But I thought a community had different de- gender, uh, races, and color. But you're saying that you are uh, you 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 contribute to the female community. to the community specifically women and, and and one day i'm going to get you to know that i can support aids and cancer i can support the community and women i can support women and men uh, they they're you not can. mutually exclusive but I for some reason when you thank you key <laughs> thank you if i say I'm, I'm here for the woman Who's that, that doesn't mean voice? i'm dissing the man Who's that i heard a voice <laughs> Is that bro man come through the window again? <laughs> and Martin? Who's that? Oh, that's Keith over there. Yes, it oh, is. What? Good morning. How are you? Yeah, Professor Keith over there. Coming through the window helping Linda, bro man. <laughs> How you doing, Professor Keith? It's okay this morning. It's okay. He just dropped in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm doing well. Thank so, you, Rob. So you're getting, a, you're getting an award. I love that outfit you have on. It's really bright and colorful. I love that. You Thank know, you're you. Such, you've been such a stylist. Ever since I've known you, I think you was like 10 years old. <laughs> Wearing heels to high yeah, school. Yeah, used to make the your own clothes. Stilettos in eighth grade. You, you did. You ladies, I'm telling you, she used to make her own clothes. <laughs> I like, did. What was that? Oh, my goodness. But, hey, that's my sister-in-law. I love her yes, dearly. Yeah. You know, we got a great show lined wind up for you today. You know, we got so many calls Uh, So many texts and emails about the topic that we talked about last week about using your money twice. So we're going to recap that for some of you all that missed it. And then we also got some announcements because uh, Linda, Keith, matter of fact, uh, everyone in my office, about nine uh, in in the office, the Henderson Financial Group. We have a small boutique type of office. And uh, when we take you on as a client, you become like a family member. You do not just a number. We actually get all into your stuff. You get into our <laughs> stuff. And, and, and we know exactly, you know, your goals, objectives, and, and we work with you. And we don't work with you just like, you know, to sell a product. We mm-hmm. actually become family. And we work with you for the next 10, 20, you know, 30 years. And your children. And your children. Because exactly. now we're getting a lot of children, aren't we? We really are. Second generation. And the parents uh, make sure the kids come with them to the appointments. And especially when they finish college and High school. So, yeah, we work with you and the next generation. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to give an announcement uh, because the reason why I'm saying that also, because all of us, my whole office, all nine of us are becoming specialists, certified uh, counselors, advisors for the federal employee uh, uh, of the country. So there are federal employees. Mm -hmm. They work for the post office. They also work for the FBI. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they also work for all the government agencies. The IRS, fire, fire. forestry industry, Veterans Administration, VA hospitals. As a matter of fact. Uh, all of that. As a matter of fact, Linda, I want you to read this to the audience and let them know. Okay. Uh, now, this right here is for the postal services. And Keith, I'm going to give you one read for the federal employees, okay? Make this announcement because we're a specialist now. We're going to be having workshops the coming year. Are they not the same? No, well, they're the same, but one of them says something about uh, the federal employees and one uh, of them is for postal. So, all right, so let's see who read it the best. And it's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's not have a contest. Okay, remember, okay. remember, we, did, we just too talked early, about that. No, that's the Linda. whole no, community. Linda <laughs> loves contests. That's Linda. Yeah? That's why she's getting a war. <laughs> Because he serviced the community, and we're not key. We're oh not boy. getting an award no, today. No, 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 no. Let's no. make that clear. <laughs> from who, who are you getting that award from? The Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Oh yeah, she's great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Linda, you read. Let's see who reads the best. One, Linda, you're gonna read. 
the benefits for the postal service. Okay. Okay, and then Keith, you do the uh, for the vets and the uh, we call them the the rest of them, not postal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lotto. All right, let's do it. Health insurance open season is right now, ladies and gentlemen. Are you covered under the right health plan? Do you need to make a change to your coverage? Have you reviewed your FEHB recently? Well, hey, update your health insurance today, right now. Act now or you will miss out because it's time sensitive. Now, helping United States postal worker employees with health plan information, single self plus one and family plan comparisons, beneficiary updates, 2020 premiums, retiring with the Federal Employees Health Benefit, and we assist with changes. So contact the Henderson Financial Group. We're here for you, 305-825-1444. Oh, man. We Keith, just, I just got to give an applause. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, Keith. Oh, she I don't nailed know. that. I don't know if <laughs> that, I can top that, that, that at all. That was on the first take. That was on the first take. Yes, yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes, yes. Now, I think, I I think hope now, y'all heard that. <laughs> I think now what I'm going to just do is say ditto. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> because in actuality, the open, uh, this, this right now, this review for the mm-hmm. open enrollment right this minute is for all of the federal employees. They're going to be, go over the same things, the health plans, the federal employee health benefit. Absolutely. And make sure that you got the right plan and that you're spending the right amount of money. What we discovered in, in investigating this particular situation is that making one small declaration mm-hmm. that isn't appropriate. In other words, if you check that you want your health benefits for the family and you've only got a spouse, you're spending way too much money. Absolutely. And nobody's actually going over that. And this is your one opportunity to investigate, look, and make sure you've got the right declarations for that. That's so right. again, yeah, season. please give us a call. 305-825-1. Four four four. That's right. Ah, that's a good comeback. That was a good comeback. That was a good comeback. That's, that's, pretty, good. Comeback. that's pretty good. So again, we are the Henderson Financial Group. We are specialists in federal employee yes. benefits. Can you believe that, man? Every year we do something, right? Yes, every, we're growing every year. Every There's year. a need out there, so we uh, try to uh, provide. Let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. It's I've, we've seen so many cases that a lot of postal workers, mm-hmm. a lot of people that work for the Veterans Administration. They don't really know, they don't understand all the great benefits because they don't really have financial counselors assigned to federal employees. Right. So they don't really know. And a lot of them lean on each other mm. for guidance. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it's amazing uh, the benefits and the strategies that you can get that most of them are missing out on. I would say at least 80% of people don't know that they don't know that they don't know that they, what they don't know. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, and it can affect the way you live the rest of your life because – the average person lives another 18 to 25 years after retirement and you could live like this or you can live like that. I know for me, when I sit down and I'm retired, I don't want to miss a beat, Keith. At I all. still want to get my congressional awards and <laughs> look cute, <laughs> <laughs> drive the kind of car I want. I mean, I, I retired or not retired, I don't want to trade hours for dollars. So the Decisions you make while you're working now, while you probably, a lot of them, you agree, Robert, is at their highest earning potential. You know, they say when you're about in your 50s, that's when you're making the most. And it's really time to max out and make the right selection with your retirement decisions. And most people are not ready. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Most people are are just not ready. You know, I was reading a report Mm -hmm. and the headline said climate change could end mortgages as we know them. Can you believe that? Climate change can end mortgages as hmm. we know. And climate change could punch a hole, they say, through the financial system by making a 30-year mortgages the lifeblood of hmm. American household markets effectively unattainable in entire regions across parts of the U.S. Whoa. The Federal Reserve Bank in San Francisco, they had a, a meeting called hmm. the, the Economics of Climate Change. Mm-hmm. I think when you think about this, it doesn't make sense because – there's 50,000 homes in California that mm-hmm. cannot get homeowner's insurance. What? Wow. That's right. 50,000. Just uninsurable. That's right. And that when that happens, it has a rippling effect in terms of value because they can't get insurance, which means they can't get mortgages, which has an effect, a, rumble, a rippling effect on the community lender and the value of houses in a certain area. Now, I know Whoa. they're saying that right now on Miami Beach in terms of climate change. Mm-hmm. And they're saying that a lot of that's why the values are going up 
inland because they're saying the seas are rising and insurance companies are not insuring, especially the, the areas throughout the country in the Midwest that's in the flood areas. They cannot get insurance, flood insurance, and we know every year we get floods mm-hmm, all mm-hmm. over the country. Well, in certain areas, right, correct? Right, right. So they're not going to be able to get insurance. And if you can't get insurance, they're saying that the housing values are, st- are going to decrease. Climate change is affecting us economically. And a lot of people still don't believe in climate change. Yeah, that's and that's very interesting. So it's about to get serious. When you start messing with people money, <laughs> some people money, bankers money, it's about to get serious. And and that's why there's something called um climate gentrification to your point Robert uh, a lot of inland a lot of neighborhoods quote that used to be the hood key exactly there's right. no such thing as the hood anymore because guess what they're not in the flood zone they're a bridge away from the ocean but don't get flooded um, the dirt we have in North Miami now is extremely valuable so um, they're coming inland now to buy and all oh, climate change huh and they said that's this, interesting yeah they said this uh, negativity wow can affect housing, the values of housing in certain markets where it'll be worse than 2008 uh, recession regarding housing collapse. Well, one of the things, if if you think about it, just like right now, Mm -hmm. last year, when the whole town got wiped out in California, it was, what was it, Paradise? Paradise, you got it. Yeah, we've got, just listened to um, to a report yesterday where one homeowner was rebuilding in that same spot again. Hmm. That we can't imagine at all, mm-hmm. at least I can't imagine, mm-hmm. that they won't have another experience like that mm-hmm. just because of what you're saying, because the climate change is accelerating. Yeah. That's right. And but, then, and then it has a rippling effect on the communities mm-hmm. and, and state and local, because what happens if, if uh, the housing values drop, that means lower taxes collected. Mm. And lower taxes collected, then the cities and the counties won't have the money to provide all of those services that they provide. Mm-hmm. Now I'm gonna. I submit to you that we love our waterfronts. We love our water views. Yes, we, we do. love our mountain views. You're gonna get some people like you just mentioned, Keith. That's gonna self insure. They're gonna take their darn chances because we love our water views. We want to be on the ocean. But, but in order to self insure, that means that you gotta have money, Linda. Oh, that means you got to pay for your mortgage. You got to pay. You can have a mortgage. I'm talking about a lot you're of You're going to pay cash and you're just going to take your chances. Okay, so you're going to pay cash for a piece of real estate that's going to depreciate. I'm on the ocean. Excuse me? I got ocean and mountain <laughs> views. Get a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Does water view really depreciate? That's obviously yes, because you know, that's a report you just read. They just had a summit on it. Yeah. We love our water view. I mean, you know, I love my water view. I'm getting me a water view. Well, let's say this. The water view <laughs> won't depreciate, but what it's going to cost you to get to it is going to accelerate. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's, you got to have money. You got to have money. You got to have money. Yeah. And 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 it's yeah. going to have a rippling effect. It, right now, it already is. Let's segue to the Dow Jones Industrial Average. You know, okay. we hit record highs last week. The Dow Jones closed 27,600. 81. It was up six points. It was up higher. Mm-hmm. S&P, S&P 500 hit record highs. Never been this high. Mm. It's at 3,093. It was up 7.9 points. And good boy, I tell you, that old Apple, that thing hit, it's a 52-week high, mm-hmm. $260 a share. I remember that sucker was $20, $21 mm-hmm. when I was living in Charlotte. That's right. And I had a couple Charlotte clients buy it, and they, oh, I need my money back. I'm like, please don't. I couldn't convince them not to sell that $21 Apple stock. Isn't that something you know? That was crazy. That's because, you know, Linda, most people, most adults, <laughs> believe it or not, are short-sighted. Did you know that? Oh, my goodness. Most Can we That's, say that? Uh, yeah, can we say that? you're right. Ladies you're right. and gentlemen, listening to me, can we say that most of us humans are short-sighted? The people that make the money, mm-hmm. they're not short-sighted. Long money. Would it be bad if I went to them and said, I told you so? Yeah, you yeah, don't want to do, 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 do that. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. You don't want nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Dancing in the end zone. Don't dance in the end zone. That's not community oriented. <laughs> okay. You're not, you're not getting an award for that today. <laughs> not, that's not, wouldn't be community touché, oriented. Touche, Robert, touche. Yes. You're yes. right. <laughs> the best thing you can do is invite them back. Okay. <laughs> and All say, right. look, see what I told you? I told you so. You know? let's, let's try again. Let's try again. Oh, but but most right. people are nearsighted rather than being farsighted. Yeah. If you think about it, the people that make most of the money, the most wealthiest people are not nearsighted, but farsighted. Mm-hmm. Now, what is farsighted? 
far side, it means not eating all of your nuts just because they're in front of you. You have to save some of them. In other words, i.e., don't eat all of your money just because you make $50,000 a year and you uh-huh. feel you can't, uh, 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 you know, that's not enough. Because uh-huh. you're eating all 50,000 nuts. Uh-huh. If they give you $70,000 a year, I, by golly, it's a report that says that you'll start eating 70,000 nuts. In other yeah, words, you eat them. Yeah. Listen, we got to take a station break. I'm all getting right. a cue from the engineer. This is Robert Henderson, Jr., certified financial planner, certified tax coach. Right next to me is my sister-in-law, Linda V. Harris, who's the vice president of the Henderson Financial Group and the financial planner. And next to her, a special great group, uh, guest that just drops in when he wants to. That's my man. <laughs> Knowing him a <laughs> long time. He got it like that. He got yeah, it like yep. that. Yeah. He's yeah. also a member of the Henderson Financial Group. This is Professor Keith Allen, uh, who has been known for over 20 years also. He's also a licensed uh, uh, insurance advisor. We'll be right back after the station break. Don't you touch this dial because we got a lot more to talk about. We're back. We're back live. Robert Henderson Jr., certified financial planner, certified tax coach, joining me live here in the studios of uh, 10, no, it was 12, 12 10 a.m. Man. 12, 10 a.m. 12, That's 10 a.m. Okay, not, I'm not going to say the woman or the man. <laughs> <laughs> 12, 10 a.m. We're live in the yes. studios. And joining me live here is my sister in law, co host. Linda V. Harris uh, of the Henderson Financial Group, and also uh, bro man uh, Keith Allen of the Henderson Financial Group. Professor Keith, we call him. Yes. And we're back. We were talking about the uh, the economics of climate control, but we're going to segue okay. from there. We're going to talk about a topic that uh, we're going to recap from last week. Linda was on the road. Oh, that's right. right. That's right. I was driving to Fort Myers. That's right. To, to do a development conference. How did that, that, that work out pretty good? Worked out excellent. Excellent. Are we making money? Did you smell my name right? I spelled your name right on the check, yes. Okay, good, right. good. <laughs> Linda's, Linda and the company uh, in Henderson Financial Group, she's a financial planner. She does a lot of the real estate, and she's head of the real estate division, and we're doing a lot of development, developing nowadays, and we have property uh, all over, and uh, she's really spot on with the with the CRAs and the causes and and, and the, just everything that to help the people. That's why I'm getting my award. I'm building workforce housing. I mean, she's right there, just <laughs> strutting her stuff and having her future with her colorful outfit on. And man, she's, <laughs> and, and the thing about it is, she has a lot of knowledge. I mean, she's not what we call a picayune type of person. Oh, a what? Oh, 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 like that? Did you like just that? call me a name? I, <laughs> I says, you're definitely not a picayune, pick, picayune type of person. Okay. And what is picayune? What is, is that the word of the day? Yeah. The pick, word of the day. Picayune. Picayune. Let me spell that what? for you. P as in Paul. You got me I as in Idaho. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you want to make sure I didn't insult you, right? Exactly. I said, you're not a picayune type of person. That could mean I'm not intelligent. Okay, let me finish. Let the person. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, goodness. All right. Why you want to go there? Okay. Can it be something positive? It can. Okay, picayune. P as in Paul. I as in Idaho. C as in Charlie. A as in Alpha. Mm-hmm. Y as in yellow. U as in uncle. N as in November. E as in Easter. Picayune, Picayune means petty, small, insignificant. And Linda is definitely oh, not, not a Picayune. Not a Picayune, no, no. You like that word? I like that word. And a lot of people are Picayunes. Now that's oh, wait, something now let's, let's, you let's can insult start, someone start. and they won't even know it. <laughs> yes. I, How you, you doing, are, my Picayune friend? Exactly. Oh, girl, you are so Picayune. <laughs> Oh, that's a good oh, that's one. That's right? a good one. Oh my goodness! Oh, I mean, goodness. a small value Ooh. or importance. Ooh, you know, petty. You know. Okay. They call half real. <laughs> what? Little. Yeah, and then that's amazing. That's right? that's so that's, Linda, that's like, not bad. Like Words a, matter. So you like that now that you're not a picayune? I am not a picayune. I like that. Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, I just got a. Uh, I just got a. Uh, let me see. What you got? Okay, so I got a, someone says it's not sure if we're doing, if we're on the air, mm. because there's no sound from the website. Hmm. hmm. We no on the air, engineer? The yeah. Are we, on the, are we on the air? Looks like we're on the air. What, Curtis? 12, 10 a.m. <clears throat> I'm going to tell him, what I'm going to tell him to go to Google. Mm-hmm. Google, I'm going to tell him to go to Google and go just go to 12, 10 a.m., because then you can pick it up from Google, actually. Fantastic. Okay. All okay. Right. So now let's get back. Because, you know, right here we get texts and we get emails. So 
before we go further, we have inclined appreciation. Every year we have that. And I this love year, it. This year, Linda, I want you to let, now you have to be a client. Every year we have fabulous gatherings. And I think it's our fourth or fifth year mm-hmm. that we've been doing client appreciation. And man, we've been having a good, good time. And I want you all, if you're a client, you got to call the office starting, well, we're going to be there Monday, but come call Tuesday because Monday is a veteran day. Right. So call Tuesday at 305-825-1444 if you're a client so you can reserve your seat, although invitations are going out. So I want you to check your mail also and just Mm -hmm. call the office to make sure that you're on the invite list. You should be. But we're going to have a fantastic event this December the 13th. Linda, read yes, it Yes, sir. Tell it. I love this time of year, Robert. This is the holiday season. It's time for parties. I love getting dressed up. So please put us in your calendar. Put us on your calendar, um, Henderson Financial Group. Now, this year's the theme is Casino Royale. You know, think James Bond. Think in Monte Carlo. Think Casino Royale. Come, come in your best casino attire. We're going to have a good time, and you can definitely bet, place your bet on the Henderson Financial Group. We really do have good gatherings. Um, invitation only for clients. Don't just call opening up a little mutual fund trying to be a client on in the next <laughs> week or so. We want clients, you know, that, that's been with us. Um, and it's going to be at the Sunset Lakes Clubhouse this year. You must have your invitation because it's not one of those events where, you know, remember the house party? Somebody used to tell it on the radio and everybody floods it. It's not that kind of party. Casino Royale, Henderson Financial Group, Client Appreciation Party, keyword client. Um, we'd love to have you. I got my outfit. You ready, Key? Yes, I am. And the one thing I want to say is mm-hmm. to, to remind people to start to diet just a little bit now because the food <laughs> is good. Always. Isn't it? <laughs> the always. food is always good. Yeah, so, last year yeah. we had it at Shula's. It was really good. We had a brunch. Yes, we did. But uh, this year, when I say, you know, we say Casino Royale Party. Now, mm-hmm. listen. Okay. I you know we financial advisors, so it's not going to be real money, okay? We don't gamble. We don't gamble with our hard-earned money. So it's going to be roulette tables, blackjack, but it's going to be fake money, so to speak. And we're going to give out prizes. I've been to several of these, and I liked it so much. I said, I want to bring this whole style, okay. this whole approach to the Henderson Financial Group. It's, it's fantastic. We're going to have a DJ there. You're going to dress up. And if you didn't, I didn't know how to play poker, and it's someone that's going to teach you how to play poker even. So it's really, really good. It's enjoyable. We're going to have the food flowing. We're going to have the dessert flowing. Uh, so come and make sure that and you call the office. And we have alcohol? No, I mean wine flowing. Not just food and dessert. We're going to have libations. Yeah, we're going to have libations. Okay. We're definitely going to have that under <laughs> libations. Yeah, it was kind of hesitant on that. Yeah, I know. You know the slow response there. I'm like libations? <laughs> you talking about liquor? <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have liquor. <laughs> that was that was a picky request. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! The petty small. That's a key. <laughs> I like that picky Okay, so last week we talked about uh-huh. using your money twice, and you know, under Keith, a lot of people, you know, was was taken back from that. They said, "Oh my God, you know, I didn't know you can do that." So let's recap. Okay. Okay, so you know, most people we've been trained and 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 you know condition mm-hmm. to use our money once we make money and we spend money and inflows outflows and that's it. that's it use gone that's right and when you make money and you use it it's kind of like draining the tank you, you you fill your tank up with with gas and mm-hmm. then you you know you run around and do what you have to do and next thing you know you're on empty mm-hmm. and if you have more money then you have to pay out more money to put more money and put back in gas in your tank mm-hmm. it's basically the same how we live our lifestyle we've been condi- conditioned throughout our lives from cradle to the grave mm-hmm. to have this pattern now this is for the 95 percent of us the five percent who are will- rich and wealthy they don't live like this they don't drain their tank. They know how to use OPM, other people's money. Mm-hmm. Now, they don't teach you this in grade school. They don't teach you this in college. College, we know, is good if you know what you want to study with certain industries. But for the most part, college has become a profitable, profitable business. In fact, not just college. And now you have all these other little educational where you get degrees from online mm-hmm. because there's so much money in telling you you're going to learn something, but you're not going to get anything for it economically. But at least you'll have have that degree, that plaque, but it costs because you wind up 
paying two and three hundred thousand dollars in student loans and student loans are so significant now in the economy and on your lifestyle. In fact, that not only if they'll come get you and make your life hard for not having child, paying child support, but if you have student loans, it can ruin your life also. Yeah. All because you was trying to get educated. Yeah, yeah. Trying to be the best you can be. Now and we- banks have actually told us and uh-huh. showed us how to use your money more than once. How do they do that? Hmm. Banks, if you put $1,000 in the bank today, the next day, a bank or a credit union can lend 10000 out off your 1000 They leverage your money. I just want you all to know that. Y'all got to understand that. So if you're walking around here and you got $50,000 sitting in the bank, you're helping the bank. The bank, if you put $50,000 in the bank for safekeeping, now the bank cannot lend out the next day 10 times that, which is $500,000. And they lending this money out to people with student loans, yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They also lending this money out People have credit cards charging them, what, 28%, 29% Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. off your money. And they paying you nothing. A lady came in the office with $100,000 in Chase. They was paying her $10 for the whole 12 months. Can you believe that, Keith? $10? $10. And and guess what, Linda, on the $10, she had to report that to the IRS when she filed her taxes. So when you say, because I I can hear people, I can see the smoke coming out of their heads. It's new. It's new. It's something they're not used to. I walk in, let's, for simple math, I deposit $100 in the bank. The bank can loan out my $100? A thousand, yes, they do. They don't keep anything and keep money. Or a thousand dollars. They can, they can loan out more the than banking rule says. The banking rule says when the bank's taking on a deposit, okay, they can stretch that deposit. They can make it look like, mm-hmm. paper-wise, mm-hmm. document-wise. Mm-hmm. When you put $100 in there, now they can lend out $1,000. Even though I didn't deposit $1,000. It's not backed by gold standards. It's fiat. It's make-believe. It's paper. Whoa. It's an illusion. It's IOUs. <laughs> it's an honor system. It's an honor side. You know, really, it's a Ponzi scheme. If we do it, we go to jail. But the system Man. says they're doing it. I wish you would loan me $100 and I can go out and use 1000 even though you really only loaned me 100 or deposited or gave me 100 that's amazing. You know how much leverage and how many things I can buy and what I can do and how many times I can step on that money? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I call it step on the money. I know they don't know. Millennials, I know you confused, but. Uh, can you explain that step on the money? Can you, where did that come from? I Is know. That, no, 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 that, no, no. You learned that no, from no. the community <laughs> in which you came from? <laughs> it's not why I'm getting the award. Okay. <laughs> so, yes, Linda, in fact, the mm-hmm. whole system. Steps wow. on the money and they, they use leverage, use other people's money. They stretch. Matter of fact, there's a, 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 a professional term called arbitrage, meaning that someone gives you money, you charge, and, and someone lends you money. Mm-hmm. And when they lend you money, let's say that they charge you 5%. When well, you take that money and you go somewhere and invest it and you get 10%. So now basically you took someone else's money and they cost you 5% interest. And you went and gave it to someone else and you charged them 10%. So basically, after they pay you 10% and you pay the people who lent you money 5%, mm-hmm. bingo, you come out with 5% free and it wasn't even your money. They call that arbitrage. And people don't think they can do that. People think it's only for banks. People think it's only for others. We, what we're here to tell you is you can do that. But yourself. Look, yourself. Absolutely. But yeah. what, what do they learn that? Let me tell you something. From cradle to the grave, from first grade. Mm-hmm. To college, to just, you know, the people you hang around, they don't talk about arbitrage. They don't talk about using your money. We, they, most people haven't heard of this until now. Right. How do you use your money twice? Mm-hmm. Most people have never thought of something like that. That's, that's, not, that's not even conscious to think of to use your money twice because we've been conditioned. We've been taught. You make money, inflows and outflows. That's it. Drain the tank. Use it once. Use it once. But that's that's not accurate. That's not accurate. So let's walk it through like we did last week. Suppose, suppose there was a way. Suppose. 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 <laughs> there was a way. And you're not a picayune. Because you, you're, you're not thinking petty anymore. Because you have been exposed mm-hmm. on the Henderson Financial Group, understanding money mm-hmm. with Linda and Robert and Professor Keith. <laughs> and we talked about using your money twice. Let's, first of all, let's just go over the concept. How can you possibly do that? What if there were a savings account that was available? Mm-hmm. And matter of fact, this savings account strategy is in the 73,000 page tax code 
of the U.S. tax law. Do I have to read the whole thing? No, you just got to know where to look. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you what section it's called. It's called section 7702. Now, that's a 7,000 page. Love it. Uh, you have to get to this page number 7,000. <laughs> you know, a 73,000 page Strategy. Can you imagine having a secret book, yeah. a, a book that tells you how to make more money? Because, because the, the U.S. tax code, 99% of it tells you how not to pay taxes. Can you believe that? No, I don't believe that. Man. I know it's true, but most of us don't understand that it's there to help us and not hurt us. That's not the way we got to help. No. No. Talk about no. lost treasures, right? Hidden treasures Hidden right treasures. before you. You know, the reason why it's like that, most people don't. Look at it. And most people don't even look well, at it. They're the busy tax living code. their life and, and raising kids and going to work and getting in traffic and taking off and fixing dinner and going through homework, as you should. But that's why you need somebody like the Henderson Financial Group. And the powers that be knows that. Yeah. So you can't yeah. say, y'all didn't tell us. It right. says it's right there. If you want to hide something, put it where? In a book. In a book. <laughs> In a book. In a book. Especially one with no, page, no pictures. No pictures. And 73,000 pages, right? So imagine this. There is, there is a strategy that you can actually deposit money into mm-hmm. an account. And when you pa- deposit this money, you can deposit $1,000, $500, $10,000, $50,000. Shoot. You know who put more money in this, in this type of in, this strategy and investment? The number one participant of this using your money? Who's that? Twice. Banks. Ah. Banks. Makes sense. Banks put a lot of money. Where the money money is. Banks. Yeah. That's right. Banks. And second to banks, Mm -hmm. corporations. Okay. A lot of corporations have this certain type of account. And after corporations, and almost everybody in Congress has it. The reason why? Because they're the one that passed the rules and the laws, so they Mm -hmm. know about it. And they never touch that. They're too busy uh, making changes on the IRAs and the 401ks. Now you can put a little bit more, $500 more now. Mm-hmm, now mm-hmm. you can put $19,000 into your 401k. You know, they, they make little changes like that, the mm-hmm. Roth and, mm-hmm. you know, what you can and cannot do, with exemptions and credits and all that. But you nobody, and they never talk about this law here. I'm talking about how to leverage. And guess what, London Keith? Mm-hmm. When you put the money in this account and you take it out, there's a way to take it out tax-free. You never pay taxes. Even though it's grown yes. and appreciated and has some gain. Yes. Wow. There's, no, there's no such thing wow. as tax. I don't, I don't believe you. You don't believe me. I don't, I don't, I don't believe you. He's a non-believer? I'm going to let you in there. No, I'm going to let you in there. Non-believer? How'd you get on this show? It's a believer show. It's a believer show. He's speaking for the masses. I can hear them saying. So, but, 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 but Listen. Uh-huh. For the longest time, just going back to what you said, my in my imagination, how I imagined it was, mm-hmm. if I went to the bank and I put in $100, and if you needed $100 and you went to the bank, they would take my 100 and loan it to you. Okay, now you think, that's, okay, you're right. Now, if Linda go right behind me and she needed $100. Then my 100 is not there because you got it. No, that's not how it works. When you ever went to a bank and they said they don't have no money, you know that truck coming up? That's what, that's, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. That was how I imagined it. If you if I put something in and you needed something, you went. They would give you actually my physical money. Yeah, that's simple. See that you you you're in general math right now. Right, you're talking general. Math. But I, but I, that's where I was for a long time. And I most know that a lot of people are. that believe people, this. So people. when you go to the bank, because that's why when when folks say bank might be in trouble, everybody runs to go to try to get their money. Well, physically, your money is not there. Right. It's an illusion. And they didn't loan out your physical money. They loaned out 10 times your money using a term called arbitrage. That's right. Yeah. Wow. And banks are very well, really. So what we're going to try to do is okay. help you all not get to 10 right now because, you, you know, you're just in first grade. You're not even using it twice. So the first step is to teach you all how to use it twice. Mm-hmm. And then after you learn how to use it twice, you get so good you're using it three times. And after that, you can start using it four times. The same dollars. And matter of fact, you can do it. It's a way you can do it without paying any taxes. You know, we got to take a station break. The engineer is, is giving me a signal here. We got to take a station break. We'll be right after, after the station break. This is you listen to Robert Henderson, Jr., certified financial planner, certified tax coach, Linda V. Harris, vice president of the Henderson Financial Group, and Keith, uh, Professor Keith Allen, who is also a, a financial counselor and an insurance advisor. We'll be right back after the station break. 
We're back. We're back live. Robert Henderson Jr., certified financial planner, certified tax coach, Linda V. Harris, vice president of Henderson Financial Group. And we have special guest today, Professor Keith Allen, who's with the Henderson Financial Group also as an insurance advisor. Now, we were recapping um, using your money twice, mm-hmm. and we were actually breaking it down, seeing how uh, most of us have never heard of this, didn't even know that this even existed. Mm-hmm. I mean, a lot of us, you know, we're 60, 70, 80 years old listening to this show, and we did not know. And, and when you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. You know, you, you, you have to. It's hard to use your money once and really get ahead. Rich people don't do that. OPM, that's why they borrow other people's money. They use something called leverage. And leverage makes your money grow, makes it even go faster. In other words, you can make money in your sleep because you are using your money 10 times. And banks are really good at that. That's why banks make so much money. And right now they're having record profits. And they're really taking advantage of us thinking about it. As uh, Trump says that he wants interest rates lower and lower. Right now, when you have a, when you deposit money in the bank, they're giving you next to nothing. Mm-hmm. But the, you notice that the credit card, the interest on credit cards are not going down. Do you notice that, y'all? No, it's not. No. It's not. Even though they keep saying record low interest rates, but not on consumer debt. That's right. Mm-mm. So they need because they know that consumers are going to continue to spend, right. spend, spend. So if they're borrowing money at nothing, cost them nothing. Mm-hmm. The wealthy people, so you got to have credit scores at least seven hundred, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you got to get to the like you got to get to the eight hundred club. You really do it. Oof, show off. You get to the eight hundred <laughs> club, man. They just call you and say, hey, you want a hundred thousand? You want five hundred thousand? No, we just, just give by you that. your signature. That's right. Oof. And then they say, hey, the interest rates is only uh three percent. Now, mm-hmm. they give me five hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars. It's three percent. I can take it and put it somewhere where I'm going to be getting six, seven, eight percent. So I can take their money. That's right. And just pass it on to another source, and the other source is going to give me seven, eight percent. Mm-hmm. There's one going to give me ten percent. So I'm taking their money, and I'm paying three percent. To them back, mm-hmm. and I'll take their money and send it to another investment that pays me 10%. That's 7% free that I didn't even have to work for. That is what you call using your money twice. And that's some, I can hear some people saying that don't seem fair. No, life isn't fair. As a matter of fact, there's no rich mention of fair in the Bible. Ooh, that's fair. deep. No, there's, think about what is fair. Mm. Linda, now since you segue in terms of fair, okay, stop. Yeah, come on. Fair is if I walked into a meeting and you walked into a meeting and we're both there at the same table, the same conference room, but yet I'm treated differently because I'm a woman and because I'm a black woman. I'm not even looked at. I'm not addressed. I'm not talked to. That's not fair. And fair is just assuming that I know less. Fair is assuming that I don't want to make money like my counterpart. But we're at the same table in the same meeting in the same glass office. Uh, uh, that's that's not fair. White right, Dale, that situation that you just described is temporary until you open your mouth, until they find out you are Linda V. Harris, vice president of the Henderson <laughs> Financial Group. <laughs> And, and that's then, real truth. And then, and then all the blocks become level. That's at that right. Point. That's my goal. That's right. You're who, right. Who is she? <laughs> <laughs> who is she? Oh, let me go over and talk to her now. No, no. Let but me I tell you something. You. I that's get right. you. There's no such thing as fair. You're right. You have to have the knowledge and prove yourself, and you got to seek the knowledge. That's why we all yeah. count. That's why we yeah. all understand. There's no. There's no saying. Stop saying fair. Mm. You get what you deserve. Mm. All the time. You get what you deserve. The, the, get, the universe is always correct. Tell him, Keith. <laughs> tell him, Keith. Linda, Linda want to jump on that one. <laughs> black as me, I Black as she is, and black as I am. Yeah. She's sitting up there. She's yeah. like, hold on, hold on. With my, with mm. my uh, 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 skin, my beautiful black <laughs> skin. You telling me what? You get what you deserve in this get country. What you deserve. What about so Trump? Mm. Is Trump getting what he deserved? Keep watching. Keep living. Time. Some people may and, not think it, and, but um, and, and, and maybe he is. Maybe he is. And the answer we'll is, see. and the answer is yes. It's just that everybody's not playing the same game. So when you talk about fair, you got to look at what's the arena you're actually operating in, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because the rules change, mm-hmm. and that's what and that's well, all. Keith, that you just is. told me that the, 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 there's a rule change just took place mm-hmm. with college sport. Exactly right. Is that fair? Now, what's the rule change? Now they're going to start playing the athletes. The athletes mm. now will be able to capitalize off of their own product. Now that's fair because it was unfair that the universities and the coaches making 
eight and ten, twelve million a year, and the poor athletes can't even spend six dollars or they get fined. That was unfair. This is fair. So so here I so here so here fair. you've got here you've got um the gentleman who plays, let's say, quarterback at um at Alabama mm-hmm. who is probably gonna go like number two, one, two or three in the draft. Mm-hmm. And he's right now got Alabama's football team valued at millions of dollars. It has to be valued that high because look at how much money Nick Saban is making. Absolutely. But at this at this particular point in time, the guy in the quarterback can't make a dime off of his own image, off of his likeness, or sign can't any sign endorsement an autograph. deals. Yeah, that's not right. That's so, not so fair. there's something wrong with that. Yeah, but they they've so I think corrected it as of now. That begins in 2023. I understand. 22. 22? Okay. So far. So, so far. far. So far. Okay. So, so 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 to pick up what you were just saying, Linda, is it mm-hmm. fair to the banks being able to leverage and use your money 10 times? And that is a U.S. Matter of fact, not only in the U.S., that's all over the world. Mm-hmm. In, other, in other countries that they leverage your money because the gold standard, it used to be your money, they used to have to have, for every money, every dollar they lend out, they had to have assets to back it. Mm-hmm. Now they don't really have to have that. And the, and the U.S. Uh, government is the uh, chief corporate of that because, you know, the U.S. Oh, the U.S. does just print money. So here's the key. I think it's fair as long as I have access. I think it's fair as long as I can do it as well. I think it's fair as long as you're going to tell me you're going to change the rule and it applies to one person and not the other. And that's why it's so important when we go out there. Nobody telling you you can't build something. You can't buy an apartment building. You can, you can do the same thing. And it's fair. You know what I mean? You just got to break down that fear. I, 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 It's fair, but just let's keep it that way so that we all can participate. That's well, all I'm saying. I, how can I be down? Well, you know well, what I mean? Well, 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 you know, Linda, I think the biggest problem that uh-huh. most humans have is belief. Because, mm. because just what I just said, and, mm-hmm. and Keith said, most people don't believe it. It's belief. It's imagination. Now, you know that something Somebody is doing something. People are getting ahead. And you mm-hmm. know that you don't know everything about everything. That's clear, right? That's very clear. So as long as you know that there's something going on that you don't know about, that is the first sign of wisdom that lets you know that you don't know everything, so mm-hmm. you need to seek, ask, knock. Okay. It's always, you. let me tell you something. There's a saying that says that you don't have to be sick in order to get better. I want to say that again. You don't have to be sick in order. I like that. To get better. I'm going to say it one more time. Those of you all who are listening Mm -hmm. and you think you're okay, you think your job, you think your life is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that you, 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 you could be better. Yeah. And we all should strive to be better. That keeps you going. That's, matter of fact, so true. That was what America. I, the, the ideal of America is, is to continue to develop and to grow and to get people better. people ask you, Robert, why do you still work so hard? You don't have to. No. You, you know, you, 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 you've you done well for yourself. Because I he, know. You're still working. Why? why? Be, you, you, you're doing just fine. Because Linda, mm-hmm. I just turned 61. Mm-hmm. At 61, I know more than I knew when I was 60. Mm-hmm. And it's amazing to me, every year, I learn more. And I always say, man, I wish I knew this when I was 20 years old. So it's not going to stop. So whatever I think I do know now, I know that I don't know nothing. I am still only using probably 10% of what God has given me the ability to to use. And that right there is what I thirst for. That is what I come get up, study, work. That's what I mean. I'm very inquisitive because I know that I could be better wherever I am. In life right now, I know this ain't nothing. I ain't I, some, something inside of me say, "Well, you think you're doing good now, boy? Mm-hmm. You ain't seen nothing. You ain't not a thing. <laughs> you ain't <laughs> seen nothing. Because all, all you need to do is look around, and you can see different levels and different standards, and people who are actually operating at a higher and higher levels. So ex- there's always something else to aspire to. Ex- so you exactly. saying don't say, "Hey, that's not fair." That, that just throw no. that out the window. Throw well, that out the window. Throw well, that out the window. Well, if, okay. if if we if we go ahead and imagine, and this is one of the things that I use when I actually have students and people that I'm talking to, mm-hmm. so my job is to energize, enlighten, and expand. 
you financially. Energize, enlighten, and expand. And the only way I can do that is if I do it for myself first. Gotcha. Gotcha. Now you, what did they tell you at, in the plane? Put your mask on first? Absolutely. Absolutely. So they would have kept not paying those athletes had they not just got a champion and probably LeBron and other people. If they hadn't just pushed and pushed and kept the conversation going, um, it still would have continued because it's been going on forever. Yeah, but there was one gentleman okay. who, who actually was in a college program mm-hmm. and somehow um, lost a scholarship. Mm-hmm. And became one of the advocates for, Fantastic. and with a number of other people who kept talking about the fact that it's really a, um, it's really a mislabeling, it's, and it's a misconception when you have those folks we call we call them student athletes, right? When actually they are athletes first. Gotcha, gotcha. And you're right, and students second. Exactly. A lot of them don't graduate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's, but it won't change until you change it. As a matter of fact. Just the just the thought mm-hmm. of the whole country is without good, effective, cost effective health care. Mm. Just the fact that in America, across every ethnic, you got to cut line, your medicine in half and go without a, a wellness checkup. We That's don't have bad. a system that we have affordable, mm-hmm. good health insurance. Mm-hmm. Just that alone. It's amazing that the people Mm -hmm. who we elect to straighten this out, they all have permanent, top-notch health insurance. They all have permanent, top-notch retirement plans. Mm -hmm. And guess who put them there? The masses, the people. So that's not that right there is a phenomenon in itself. We hoist, heighten these people in Congress and vote them in. Mm. And every last one of them have what we don't have. That right now, that right there is a phenomenon that we're driving, going to restaurants, acting like nothing happened. That is the elephant in the room. That is the emperor that has no (laughs) No clothes on. (laughs) And we just, and guess what? The people in Congress, they got to say, the masses are idiots. So getting to Congress is like the Wizard of Oz, mm-hmm. Emerald City. Mm-hmm. Because the people, it won't change until the, the consciousness of the people say, hey, wait a minute. The rabbit has got the gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a text from someone that says you don't get what you deserve or you don't get what's fair. You get what you negotiate. That's true. Okay. Now that's true. That's All true. Right. Yeah. And that's yeah. true. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That's a hundred percent. That's true. And you gotta say, okay, you know, you gotta say, okay, you gotta stand up, yeah, man. Being out here in this these this development game, you got to negotiate, right? Fair, fair, yeah. fair. Not even fair. The not, yeah. They no. they, they, they count, counting no. on you not knowing. No. It's it's the it's, facts, and they're not gonna treat you fair. Reaping and sowing. What you put? What's your value? You and negotiate. most people don't put the whole. Most people for for fact, Linda, don't value themselves. I mean, think about it. Whatever you making on your job. Mm-hmm. That's what you value yourself at. Wow. Whatever someone's wait, wait, paying Wait, wait, wait. That, wait that, that, that hurt. What? That hurt. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. That, that, that is the truth. That, that, That's that the hurt. truth. That was, that was that, you, 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 you out. <laughs> Think about it. Value, 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 mm-hmm. value is what the people will pay for. So a Mercedes Benz or Tesla costs $80,000. If people paying $80,000, yeah. they must think it costs $80,000. Your neighborhood, a certain, if it's $500,000, that's because people saying that's what it costs. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, a that's watch, what, a ring. It's what it's worth. It's what it's worth. Because right. they, they, they feel like, hey, you know, it's worth that. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you go to McDonald's and get a Happy Meal and it's seven dollars you feel okay that value is worth it so you pay it if it's not worth it people won't pay it this this pen right here i have on the desk Mm -hmm. if i says give me a million dollars for this pen if somebody pay a million dollars that person to them feel it's worth a million dollars that's the value they set the value so you if you're working nine to five and they're paying you ten dollars an hour Mm -hmm. and you're accepting the ten dollars an hour you just told them thank you that's what i'm worth Mm. And they abide by it. So how can that be changed? You go get some more training, get a, an advanced degree. You go you get s- some more skills. You set your value. That's right. You're gonna have only way yourself you more it. valuable. That's right. You have to be. You have to have something to trade with. You mm-hmm. have to say, listen, I'm gonna plait your hair. I'm gonna braid your hair. 
If you want me to braid it for six dollars, you got to go somewhere else. Mm. If you want your hair braided, you do it yourself. Mm-hmm. Or I'm going to braid it for fifty dollars, and you set the value. Gotcha. Whatever we set the value, we negotiate. Mm-hmm. That's what fair. You know, fair. What do you mean fair? You know, you know, you know. Why I know I'm right. Why? It's not me, but I know that what I'm saying is right. Okay. Just think about God, mm. the Creator. Mm-hmm. Is it fair? No, we get what we deserve. Wow. Henderson Financial Group, we are a full-service financial planning company, um, 305-825-1444. Again, for our loyal, long-term, distinguished clients, we're having a party, yes, Casino yes, yes. Royale party. Client appreciation. Client appreciation. Thank you so much uh, for being a client of ours. Thank you so much for being part of Henderson Financial Group. It's on December 13th. That's a Friday. And it's going to be at 7 p.m., 7 till 11. We got to get out the people place by 11 o'clock. That's enough time to party. Yeah, they'll let us go to one. They're going to let us go to one. Oh, <laughs> look at you, party animal. Yeah. <laughs> and it's going to be casino. Not real money now. It's going to no, be roulette no, tables, no, no, no. crap tables. Uh, I'm a blackjack, blackjack girl. Yeah, blackjack. I poker. Like blackjack. Yeah. Okay. And, and, okay. and you have dealers there, and they're going to show oh. you how to play. You don't, have, you don't have to know how to play any of this. I'm not a gamma. I didn't know any of this. Because <laughs> I went to one of these events, and I said, mm-hmm. this is so cute. The lady was teaching me how to play <laughs> poker, which is amazing to me. Uh-huh. But I will never put my money down. <laughs> I'm not that kind of guy. <laughs> I, I, I feel that any money I get, I have to deserve, not win. Mm-hmm. So I don't play the lotto, because I understand the way the universe works. So put us down on your calendar, December 13th, Casino Royale. And again, for our federal employees, listen, it's open season. It's open season. All of you federal employees, VA, call the office. You got to know what what your your benefits are. You got to make sure you're on track to retire successfully. Our office number, 305-825-1444. Give us a call, all of you federal employee workers. Oh, I just I just thought 305-825-1444 because we want to see you have more. Oh, oh I like that. That's professor. a nice jingle. Professor <laughs> Keith. 1444, because we want to see you have more. We gotta have you I back like for that, that. one. <laughs> that deserves that deserves a comeback. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you again. And I guess we'll see you on the show. But definitely come to our office and we can help you with your uh enrollment if you are a federal employee. Absolutely. Uh, have a great day. I see Don Daly and Rosie in the studio. Stay tuned. Stick and stay. Don't you touch that dial. Have a great weekend.